God the Father, Horus as son of God, Isis as the God Mother. So the Christians imitated them. God the Father, Jesus the Son of God, and Mary the God Mother. That was the real Trinity. They changed it later on. Excluded Mary, Salamun Aleha, and included the Ghost, the Holy Ghost. But the original Trinity was the same. And what happened to the Jews? When they remained in captivity in Iraq, for around about 100 years, captivity, Nebuchadnezzar, he invaded Jerusalem, and you know he killed about 600,000. And another 600,000, he took captives and took them to Babylonia. During that time in Iraq, the religion of Mithraism, that was popular. And here again, you know, the concept of Son of God is present in Mithraism. So imitated, they imitated Mithraism. They got this, you know, infection from the Iraqi people during their time of captivity. The Christians took it from the Egyptians. They are just imitating the, the, the creed of those who were there from amongst the Kuffar. And I told you the same thing was done by Ismailis in India. When they started preaching in India, Ismailis, they told the Hindus, well, you believe in nine arc in incarnations of God. Just add a tenth one. Ali is the tenth incarnation. It's very easy. One believes in nine. What's the difficulty in, in uh, believing in the tenth? Dasham Avatar. Dasham Avatar. He is the tenth incarnation. And just as Paul had abrogated the law, because it was difficult to say prayer, to pay zakah, oh, it's a hard task. No, no, no. Sharia is not for you. The same thing that Paul did. Abrogated Sharia. And that is why, you know, Christianity then spread like anything. You only change your creed and you become a Christian. You only believe in Jesus and all your sins, they are condoned. So it's the, it's the best bargain. Not to do anything. In the same way the Ismailis, they abrogated Sharia. There is no Sharia for the Ismailis over there. Not for all. <coughs> the Ismailis would who dwell in the northern regions of Pakistan, <coughs> they have Sharia. They have the, they are the original Ismailis who came from Iran very long ago. And Multan was one of the biggest centers of them. And Mahmud Ghaznavi invaded Multan many times only to finish these, you know, Batanis who had a very strong hold in Multan. And then they fled to the mountainous regions. And they took refuge over there. That is why they are found in Chitra, they are found in Gilgit, they are found in Hunza. These, you know, areas were not easily approachable on these days. They went there and they took refuge over there. But these people have Sharia with them. They have mosques. Not these people who were converted in Gujarat area and Bombay area and this area, you know. They were converted. They were given the, the Rishwa, you know. The bribery, that for you there is no Sharia. You come and believe. And you believe in only that Ali is the tenth incarnation of God. You become an Ismaili, a Muslim Ismaili Muslim. So that is the example for, among the, among the so-called Muslims. They have taken their rabbis and their monks as gods. Besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Well, Masih ibn Maryam. And they have taken Masih to be a god. They were not ordained, but to worship only one ilah. La ilah ilah. There is no god except him. Subhanahu amma yushrikun. And he is glorified from all that they are associating with him. Now what does it mean? 
اتخذوا احبارہ و رحبانہ ہوں ارباب من دون اللہ اے ڈاؤٹ مائٹ ہیو کم ٹو یور مائنڈ دے ڈونٹ ورشپ دین اینڈ دی سیم ڈاؤٹ واز پریزینٹڈ بائی ادی ابن حاتم رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ دی سن آف دی فیمس یو نو فلنتھروپسٹ حاتم حاتم قوائی ہز سن واز اے کرسچین ادی وین ہی امبریس اسلام once he said to the prophet i couldn't understand quran says we i was a christian and we never took them as our god we never worshiped them neither the rabbis nor the monks the prophet said didn't you accept them as the authority in law whatever they said is halal you accepted halal whatever they said haram you accepted haram oh, yes this we were doing this is actually the divine right that you have given them making law is the divine right tahleel o tahreem declaring to something to be permissible and something to be forbidden this is divine prerogative if you have assigned to somebody else you have made him god if you have taken it to upon your own self the popular sovereignty we can decide you are claiming to be god because this is the exclusive right of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so must understand this ay takhadu ahbarahum wa ruhbanahum ارباب من دور اللہ و المسیح ابن مریم و ما عمر اللہ لے یعبدو الہ واحدہ لا الہ الا اللہ سبحانہ وما یشرکون یریدون ان یتفعو نور اللہ بے افوائہن و یاب اللہ اللہ یتم نوره ولو کره الكافرون they intend to extinguish the light of Allah سبحانہ و تعالی by blowing with their mouths وَيَاب اللَّهُ اللہ it is not acceptable to Allah Allah is not ready to accept accept إِلَّا يُتِمَّ نُورَهُ except that he has to make his light complete وَلَوْ كَرِهَ الْكَافِرُونَ although the unbelievers might dislike it despite their dislike Allah has to make the light of guidance complete الْيَوْمَ اکملت لکم دینکم و اتممت علیکم نعمتی و رضیت لکم اسلامتینا This is the decision. Muhammad is sent صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم The advent of Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم is with this divine decision. 